The flat, sun-baked Mojave Desert stretches for miles to the mountains. Beyond the mountains, the flat land stretches to the horizon. And beyond the horizon, according to Charles Johnson, the land continues to be flat. As a matter of fact, Charles Johnson believes the whole world is flat. 30 minutes from Lancaster, just off Highway 14 in a remote corner of the desert, Charles Johnson set up his Flat Earth headquarters about 10 years ago. It's from here he keeps in touch with the rest of the world. A round map of the Flat Earth adorns the wall of the office where he and Mrs. Johnson, the only other staff member, spend endless hours spreading the gospel and the latest facts to fellow believers. Our aim is to restore the world to sanity. The civilization is, is crumbling. It must come to pieces because we're based on a completely false premise. And I mean, Watergate, things like that have no consequence, you know, yes, compared to this. Moses is a flat earther, by the way. He's one of the first, earliest writers for the Flat Earth Society. George Washington was a flat earther. He gets mail from, excuse me, around the world, including some from institutions of higher learning. Well, a PhD. Uh, well, let's see, I'll have to answer his letter. He said he's... Uh, He's so happy, he's always believed the Earth is flat, but he never knew where we were located. Well, thank goodness he's found us. We're living in the midst of a hoax of the space program, plus the hoax that the world is a ball to begin with. We sure. estimate we have around 1,500 members, but uh, but all, all of them are not paid up. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I, I was checking over one time, people asked me what kind of people belong to the Flat Earth Society. Well, I tell them it's thinking classes. But as professions now, medical doctors and lawyers are there. Are judges. Our country is just loaded with flat earthers, but they're closet believers. Mr. Johnson, how can you prove to me that the world is flat? It's the simplest and the easiest. It's like every great idea. It's, it's so elementary, it's so simple, it's why you, you, you can't understand it. I kicked myself. I was only 18 when I learned how to prove it. I said, my God, how was I so stupid that I couldn't have thought of it to begin with? Prove to me that the world is flat. There's no curvature. There's not an inch. There's not a. There's not any. It's flat. In reality. There's no way to fall off of the flat Earth. But if the world were a ball, of course, you would fall. Mr. Johnson feels that falling off a ball is proof enough the Earth is flat. So I asked him about the celestial bodies which the eye and telescope can see are round. We don't have to explain the stars. I mean, they're just little lights up there. Like little light bulbs. <laughs> they could very well be up in, in the dome of heaven. What about the other planets? But Earth is not a planet. Earth is the center of the universe. I mean, this is the universe. This is all there is. It's just one world, one flat world. Charles Johnson also believes, because airlines navigate with flat maps, that some of them endorse his theories. We advise all our members and supporters to fly TWA all the way. They're officially flat Earth. It's a, the flat Earth airline. They use the, the flat Earth map. They navigate by the flat Earth map. Mr. Johnson, probably the most beautiful picture I ever saw was of the round Earth <laughs> taken from the moon. How do you explain those pictures? Same world. It was made in the same place by movie studios. Actually, I think NBC and uh, some of the movie studios make much better uh, uh, space photographs, you know, like uh, Buck Rogers and all that sort of thing as far as appearing to the movies that NASA makes their actually rank amateurs. Mr. Johnson says the space program is only the product of a movie studio. But from the front porch of his Flat Earth headquarters, he can see the space headquarters of Rockwell International. Now you want to talk about the magic of Hollywood. I'm going to show you some magic right now. This is where America's first Whoa. space shuttle, the Enterprise, was built. We asked Charles to come with us to look at it, but he refused, saying he wanted nothing to do with round earthers. We asked some of the engineers and scientists about their neighbor's philosophy. There are parts of it that are very flat. I've been in Kansas, and that's flat. This is a spacecraft. We call it the space shuttle, and it's an orbiter, and that's interesting. If it orbits, we, we think it orbits round, not you know, around the Earth, rather than just in circles. It's not just going to Tacoma? No, no, it's, <laughs> it's, really, it's really going up. And Mr. Johnson commented on the work of his neighbors. There is no space program. It only exists on film. I think he's crazy. I really think that the guy is just absolutely batty out of his tree. We asked one of the technicians how they could prove to Mr. Johnson, if he were here, that the Earth wasn't flat. Well, maybe you ought to sign up for the astronaut program or something. That would really be the only way to know. But even if he were younger, Mr. Johnson says he would never join the astronaut program because he says it doesn't exist. 
He feels the wave of the future is not space, but his philosophy, and he insists that it will not die even after they have buried him in the flat earth. The Flat Earth Society, contrary to what people think, is something old. We're the new, the modern, we're the advent guy, we're the wave of the future. Launch commit, liftoff. We have liftoff 49 minutes past the hour. The new world is flat. flat, 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 flat.